everyone. I am Li Hui Dong from Peking University. Here, uh, you can see my topic today. It is mainly about uh the icons I called Madonna in between. I'm going to focus on three time periods, each with different styles of uh Chinese Madonna and uh promoted different features of the Western styles. Um, Madonna to meet varying domestic needs. The first time period is from the late 16th to the early 17th century. That is the age of exploration, when Materisi and the first generation of the Jesuits arrived in Ming China with Christian artworks. Here, uh, we can see two extant Chinese Madonnas of this time period. We have few authentic written documents on them, especially the left one. Um, we only know it was purchased from a non-Christian Chinese family in Xi'an in the early 20th century. Well, luckily, the right black and white one has a published date. It is from an uh, illustration book in Nanjing in the early 17th century. Here, we can see the texts from official records. It is said Matiorisi's gift to the Emperor Wanli in 1601 include two paintings of the Madonna and Child. One is a so-called Asian painting. The other is called a contemporary painting. Some scholars propose that the words contemporary and ancient might refer to uh, two icons of Madonna. It is also recorded in Materisi's memos that in the year uh, uh, in the year fifteen ninety eight he received an oil painting of Madonna, which was just a copy of this altarpiece, uh, this altarpiece of the Spanish Savelli Madonna. But the copy was unfortunately broken off in transit. So maybe due to this damage, the painting looks like an antique. Then Matteo Ricci again recorded in the next year that he received another oil painting of Madonna. This painting was a copy of this, like this, this famous icon, Salas Populi Romani. This icon was widespread and very popular during the uh, Reformation. The copies were like this were traveled with the Jesuits across the world. Unlike the last broken civilian copy in Rhesus records, we know that this oil copy uh, of uh, this Salas a popular Romani icon was kept in very good condition, which I think might be a possible reason to name it as uh, contemporary. Um, even if it is hard to identify whether the two extant Chinese Madonna uh, uh, were the folk copies of the so-called ancient and contemporary Holy Mother that Rishi offered to the court, still, the viral sources of these two images are tractable. Well, firstly, let's go into the icon of the supposed this ancient style, the Savelia Madonna. Here we can see during the age of exploration, the icon disseminated world widely, from the original fresco in the Cathedral of Savelli to the uh, 16th century Antwerp engraving was simply dark color background, then the Japanese adaptation was newly designed margins in the turn of the 17th century, and finally, the uh, 1606 Chinese illustration. Actually, this Chinese Madonna has its realistic function. It is one of four Christian images in an illustrated book, Master Cheng's Garden of Ink Cakes, Cheng Shi Mo Yuan. Selected and published by Cheng Da Yue, the master Cheng, a successful merchant of ink. 
Ink selling was very competitive in the late Ming Dynasty. Good seals are always require not only good quality but also、um, eye catching strategy, such as、uh, this kind of peculiar and exotic images on solid ink cakes. Ink cakes is just like this. In this sense, this Chinese Madonna and the other three、uh, exotic Christian images functioned as commercial advertisements on ink cakes for sale. Well, after good selling, Master Cheng collected these eye-attractive images as this illustrated book, and this book also functioned as a product、uh, catalog. Well, let's enlarge the Chinese Madonna piece. We see、uh, the alphabetic title of the image: Tian Zhu, the Lord of Heaven, rather than the Lord of Heaven and the Holy Mother. Some scholars also notice a mystical word in her halo. The Latin Plena was written as Lena. Literally, the original meaning of Ave Maria was changed to Maria, a charming woman. According to Johnson Spence, Rishi might also notice this, but he did not change the mistake. We know from historical literatures that in the late 16th century, most local people in Nanjing City mistook the Christian God as a beautiful woman with a child. The Latin words below here clearly demonstrates that this image is a copy of the fresco Savelli Madonna to memorize the Spanish Ferdinand the uh, Third, his recapture of the city Savelli from the、uh, Muslim in the thirteenth、uh, century. Here we can track the uh, worldwide uh, travel of this icon. From the original, uh, secret large-scale fresco to a small, um, mass-produced wood block on ink cakes, usually laying on Chinese literati tables. Also, its original, uh, uh, religious function transformed as commercial use. The audiences expanded from Christian worshippers to Confucius literati as well. Local people accepted、uh, the icon of the、uh, Hadith Tree that is the Virgin shows the way as just a nice-looking woman holding a child, and Madonna became the Lord of Heaven. What's more, the purpose of celebrating and memorizing the victory of、uh, the Christian world over the Muslim, one of the essential intentions of the 13th century image, was finally lost in this 17th century Chinese、uh, contest. Actually, if we put the、uh, human civilization in、uh, Much a larger worldwide、uh, perspective, and trace the rising of globalism much earlier. We'll meet the first Madonna image in China in the Mongol Yuan Dynasty. It is on the top of an Italian、uh, merchant daughter's tombstone, once used as a word,、uh, uh, as a wall brick. For Yangzhou City and buried underground for almost six hundred years, the pose of these two Madonnas are somewhat similar. So, from a Madonna's finger and、uh, hands position, some scholars believe that both Yuan and Ming Madonna are copies. Of the icon、uh, of this hot detria Madonna, the Virgin showing the way, but some other scholars argue that、uh, this Yuan Madonna、uh, should be a copy of this Madonna enthroned, a、uh, subject popular in the Middle Age. 
Well, anyway, if we separate the rising of、uh, the globalism in two phases, the first period、uh, is mainly by sea. Ah,、uh, the sorry, this is the second, the second period,、uh, as we mentioned before, ah,、uh, uh, is mainly by sea, like this, by sea. Um, then the first phase here is during the ah thirteenth、uh, to the fourteenth century Mongol Yuan Dynasty, when the Franciscan missions mainly engaged in and traveled back and forth along the Eurasia. The Franciscan orders, the Fang Ji Ge Xiu Hui, is. Also, an important patron of Giotto,、uh, as we know, the father of the Renaissance. We find the Mongolia, like maybe this, ah,、uh, this hat, Mongolian hat, um, the Mongolian. They are closing this, enlarge this one. This they are closing and written characters, ah,、uh, in Giotto's frescoes. And here, the ways of painting the rocks and stones are quite similar between this earlier Chinese silk scroll and later Giotto's、uh, fresco. The naturalistic features are also very outstanding in Giotto's、uh, description of Saint Francisco's life. So some scholars argue that it is the Song Chinese realistic scrolls that influence, or at least activate, the naturalistic trend in the early Renaissance paintings. After all,、uh, as we know, Chin Chinese silk scrolls are very thin and soft. Ah,、uh, they are quite easy to roll and、uh, carry around, but not easy to preserve for a long time till today. Well, when it comes to the second stage of the rising of globalism, the dominating missionaries changed to the Jesuits. A newly formed Catholic order during the、uh, Catholic Reform to resist the Protestant Reformation. During this time period, Sevilla became、uh, became the center of the exploration of the Spanish discovery of the world. Here we can see、uh, the city of Sevilla and the cathedral, where the、uh, Sevilla Madonna fresco located. The Jesuits also helped to draw the first、uh, modern world map in Chinese, based on this most up-to-date world map、uh, of of that time period. In this Chinese map, we see. Uh, helped to relo re relocate China、uh, close to the、uh, center of the map.、Uh, that's also the center of the world. The Jesuits also created their specific clothing,、um, but、uh, the color and style of the robe and hat are neither European Catholic nor、uh, Confucian style. So both the Chinese world map and this、uh, Jesuit clothing were new creatures based on mutual cultural exchanges, partly understandings and somewhat misreading. Let's go back to this supposed、um, contemporary style Madonna. This one, this icon. Has many copies throughout Western art history, especially in the turn of the 17th century, supported by the Pope and the Jesuits. It once became the most widely spread Christian icon、uh, during this time period. From these images, we can also track the、uh, worldwide dissemination of this icon and its coeval adaptation of the Chinese version. Since、uh, they are believed as miraculous images painted from life by Saint Luke himself, we can even track the icon from the hand of Saint Luke.
from the Byzantine version. Then again, the uh the engraving and in Antwerp, and finally, this full-length silk scroll with the uh suspicious signature of Tang Yin. Tang Yin, a famous Chinese scholar and professional painter, active in the turn of the sixteenth century. He earned living by selling paintings, and his artworks have very good market. The right one here is one of his paintings of beauties with his with his typical uh, technique, uh, the so-called method of three whites, san bai fa, using white color to enhance the facial depths. Most scholars propose the inscription and seal of Tang Yin are forged, uh, so uh, they might be fake. Some some argue an seventeenth uh, century date of the late Ming Dynasty uh, as contemporary of Matteo Ricci, but others argue an later eighteenth uh, century date of the Made Qing Dynasty. Some believe the signature was attached during the religious persecution, while Christianity was suppressed in the eighteenth um, century to uh, pretend the original Christian icon as a portrait of beauty, or even the Bodhisattva Guan Yin, uh, the Buddhist goddess of mercy. Indeed, several this kind of uh, so-called Maria Guan Yin uh, exist in religious persecution in Japan, worshipped by and the ground uh, Christians. The front of these statues look like the Buddhist Guan Yin, but the back always has Christian signs. There is another. Madonna-like scroll with inscription and stamp of Tang Yin, uh, in the collection of uh the British Museum, uh, with a possible date, late Ming Dynasty date, donated in the early twentieth century. The lotus, the white parrot, the water bottle, and the posing. Uh, of this lady, are uh, all typical viral signs of the Buddhist Guan Yin. However, the standing child and the robe with shell also look similar to Christian symbols, especially the white bird. Ah,、uh, this one may may be a white parrot in Buddhist sutra. But it can also be regarded as a dove, a symbol of the Holy Spirit, and it is also hard to say, ah,、uh, whether this item in water bottle is a Buddhist ah、uh, uh, willow branch or just a symbolic feather of the Holy Spirit. Guan Yin literally means, ah,、uh, perceiving the sounds of the world. Guan Shi Yin was originally a Buddhist male deity worshipped in India. Ah,、uh, these early images in China often depicted Guan Yin as a male deity with a、uh, bare breast and a、uh, mustache. Resembling the original、uh, male Indian Bodhisattva, it is only after the Song Dynasty, especially during the 13th century,、uh, that is the Mongol Yuan Dynasty, that the gender of Guan Yin、uh, was transformed、uh, into a Chinese female female deity. It is in China alone that this male、uh, deity underwent such gender transformation.
The icon of the child giving Guan Yin was also created in Confucian system for、uh, female worshippers to pray for healthy male sons, ah,、uh, male heirs. Some scholars even trace the worship of the Chinese、uh, child giving Guan Yin back to the introduction of the icon of Virgin Mary by Franciscan missions in the thirteenth、uh, and fourteenth century, as we just mentioned. During the Ming and Qing Dynasty, there are a lot of semi Madonna and semi child giving Guan Yin, ah,、uh, like this. A lot of、uh, such kind of porcelains and ivories produced in South China for uh, uh, experts. Well, for example, this Madonna is standing on the head of an animal. Ah,、uh, just rem reminds the Buddhist icon of Guan Yin riding on a tiger. The curly hair of the Madonna and Jesus. Also requires Buddha's hairstyle. The bracelets in Jesus' hand also combines the images of typical Buddhist prayer beads and Christian rosary. So let's go back and briefly summarize these two extant Ming Chinese Madonna. In the portrayal of the left. The Xi'an Madonna, the original halo behind the Jesus head, is de、uh, is deleted, while、uh, the Ma Madonna's halo is kept. In this way, the Holy Child in the Western model is transformed into an ordinary Chinese baby, while the divinity of the Madonna、um, is preserved and highlighted through the halo. The similar thing also happens in the right picture. Ah,、uh, the title seems to tell. Well, even if ah、uh, both Madonna and Jesus keep their halo, the title Tianzhu seems to tell that the Lord of Heaven is the woman with child rather than the little child. And also, when we see both the um. Bared feet, ah,、uh, the white robe and the full-length pose. It is very hard to say whether they are either the Western prototype or the Chinese style. In this sense, the popular and largely produced icon of female deity holding a a baby during this time period in China is ambiguous. The Chinese Madonna is rather a hybrid icon mixed with multiple、um, cultural and religious influences and customers. Well, to sum up, as to the social and religious contexts, the first version of Madonna in China was created in the first phase of the rising of the、uh, Eurocentered. Uh, globalism, when the Western missionaries actively traveled on the Eurasia Road to seek for cooperation with with the strong Mongol Yuan uh power um to resist the rising Islamic world in the thirteenth and fourteenth century. Later, during the second phase, uh, during the second period of the rising of the so-called、uh, globalism, uh, it is the Western Catholic missionaries again who traveled by sea and actively spread、uh, Christian world cultures to the New World with the purpose of expanding and enhancing the power of the Catholic Church to resist the rising of the Protestant. Compared to the、uh, active Western missionaries, the Chinese during these time periods seem to be always in relatively passive ways to accept Western world cultures. However, the situation changed during the next、uh, time period, the late nineteenth to the early twentieth century.
the last years of the late Qing Dynasty, when the Manchu Manchu government strived to uh, survive in the complicated domestic turmoil and foreign uh, uh, aggr aggression. Especially during the new policy reforms and the final、uh, regime of the de facto ruler, the Empress Dowager Cixi, also known as Her Majesty, Queen Mother of China, she was also honorably entitled、uh, in Chinese Sheng Mu Huang Tai Hou, and in English is the Holy Mother Empress Dowager. In 1904, not only the portrait of the、uh, the Empress Dowager、uh, was officially sent to the World、uh, Exposition and displayed to the public for the first time, but also this this handcraft work with the image of Queen Mother was exhibited and awarded in St. Louis World Fair. This Queen Mother at work seems like a pun. Is it the icon of Christian Madonna, uh, or the portrait of the um Chinese Empress Dowager with the Little Emperor? I'm going to talk about these images in the context of the the clasping of the so-called China-centered all and heaven system, and propose that uh the exporting viral arts. A part of the self-fashioning project of the、uh, late Qing government to both the domestic and worldwide audiences. As we all know, in this notorious anti-foreigner movement, the Boxer Uprising, the Empress Dowager was once a supporter of the folk boxers. And launched religious persecution of Christianity during the siege of the international legations in 19,000. Her public likeness was just like this:、uh, atrocious and tyrannical. Ultimately, due to the occupation of the、uh, Forbidden City by the Eight Nation Lines. The Queen Mother of China was forced to adjust her ruling methods and political strategies. In the year 1901, she issued the Reform Edict to implement the so-called New Policy Reforms (Xin Zheng Gai Ge). That's in Chinese. To learn from the West. As a means to modernize the old state,、uh, the the old state system. So this 1904 oil portrait is just like part of her modernization reforms, as well as one of her、uh, new international strategies. Especially in view of the almost one thousand year taboo of forbidding showing, ah,、uh, forbidding showing rulers' portraits in public, that taboo lasts for almost one thousand years in China. So this Empress Dowager Cixi's portrait in the World Expo is a public display of the facial likeness of a Chinese ruler for the first time since the eleventh century. But domestically, this public portrait was neither described as a westernized rural cultural reform to get rid of the tradition, ah,、uh, the the traditional taboos, nor as a forced way to approach to the Western world. Rather, according to this, this ah、uh, Chinese government ah、uh, document. Um, to celebrate Her Majesty's seventy-year-old birthday worldwide was the main purpose of、uh, actively sending her portrait to the world exhibition.、Uh, well, here I use this lady's、uh, photo as a scale to show that the level of our eyes only touches the feet of the、uh, portrait. Everyone who wants to、uh, look at Her Majesty's A portrait 
has to head up with an upward view, as if to pay respect to the ruler. It is just in the same word fair that the mysterious、uh, Holly Mother table screen together exhibited. Scholars agree that this table screen was made in Shang in Shanghai in the French Jesu uh orphanage, uh Tu Shan Wan workshop, the so-called cradle of Western painting in China, which is the earliest art college teaching and producing Western style artworks. Um, this Tu Shan Wan workshop. There are several indirect proofs to show that this commission、uh, might be from the royal family. The mysterious client had several principal requirements, such as appointed subject of the、uh, table screen as the Holy Mother Empress Dowager, which clearly referred to the Chinese Empress Dowager Cixi. At the same time, the sub the subject was also required to incorporate the Western Holy Mother and Child. That's the Madonna subject. And one of Cixi's photo portraits and a photocopy of her oil painting were both attached to this order as、uh, primary models. Well. No matter who commissioned the table screen, the fact is that the model of the Holy Mother is indeed the Empress Dowager Cixi. Especially considering the strict、uh, censorship of the late Qing, as an expert to the World Expo, Cixi possibly offered either direct or indirect support to this table screen. And not only all the Chinese people in charge of this table screen were、uh, rewarded handsomely, but also Tu Shan Wan Workshop later received more orders of imperial、uh, portraits since then. This fact is of particular interest if the production of the screen may be traced ten years back. When、uh, Chinese Christians were still persecuted as traitors, this kind of table screen is, of course, impossible. We can see the details are full of the Chinese characters of longevity and jubilance for celebration, and here is also a dragon. Uh, on the carpet, a typical Chinese imperial、uh, symbol. Here are also the longevity and celebrating characters. On、um, the Empress Dowager, she also designed this big frame and pedestal by herself. She was always in charge of everything. Both images, as we can see, are in. Full length and frontal view with the subject seated on a high throne, decorated with、uh, birthday blessings to wish her long life. The Empress Dowager tried to control every detail, or、uh, every detail. Uh, 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 sorry, excuse me. Uh, the Empress Dowager tried to control every detail of her public mural images to pretend that all the people in the world are subjects of the Chinese Queen Mother, as the、uh, continuity of the already collapsed、uh, All and Heaven system. It is obvious that the seven seventy year old lady want to look like only thirty year old in her portrait. In fact, most of Cixi's photos and in portraits demonstrate herself as Guan Yin, goddess of mercy. Domestically, in 1904, Cixi's Guan Yin photos, like uh, like these, were publicly sold on the uh domestic market. 
She also ordered、uh, court painters to draw her Guan Yin portrait in、uh, this Buddhist scripture Heart Sutra to hand out as presents to officials. Moreover, in 1909, her Guan Yin portrait was even published in a book in the New York. According to the author, this ink painting was a secret gift from one of Cixi's court painters. Here, as some scholars noticed, it is attractive that the traditional white-robed Guan Yin was depicted in blue shao, like this. We know the color blue is usually associated with Mary in Western Christian viral culture. In fact, the sinicized、uh, goddess of Guan Yin is not only worshipped by Buddhists in China,、uh, especially、uh, during the Ming and the Qing dynasty. The Guan Yin cult is itself a mixed faith. And ongoing absorbing miscellaneous religions, just as some scholars noticed, the Chinese characters of Cixi Dao、uh, of Cixi's Taoist title here, Guangrenzi or a、uh, broad benevolence, were also embedded in Cixi's、uh, this pond、uh, photograph. In this sense, Cixi's portraits with、uh, various religious signs should not be simply associated with one specific religion. Maybe in this way, the Queen Mother of China embodied herself as Almighty Goddess of both traditional Chinese cults and newly imported、uh, Christianity. In this part, I'm going to talk about the shaping of the icon of Our Lady of China under the background of the New Chinese Republic. Here, we can see some、uh, different types of the icon. Well,、uh, just ask a, a a quick question: Do they remind you of some picture we mentioned before? Yes, obviously. Ah,、uh, the 1904 Holy Mother Empress Dowager table screen is their model. Also, this icon has copies in different materials, like this, and so disseminated widely. Ah,、uh, well, big or large, ah,、uh, expensive or ah,、uh, quite cheap in different materials. So I organized a timeline of the making and ordering of major types of this icon. In 1904, as mentioned before, the French Jesuit Tushanwan workshops. Here in 1904,、uh, these workshops received the wooden table screen order, supported、uh, possibly by the Emperor's the Dowager indirectly, to make the. Uh, this wood craft. Firstly, the painting workshop should paint a sketch based on the、uh, Cixi photos offered by the client. Then, the、uh, woodworking and metalwork studio produced the final wood craft. After that, the table screen was exported to the world fair. While、uh, this sketch, the original sketch,、uh, still kept in. Uh, the Tushan Wan、oh, uh, painting workshop. When it comes to 1908, the new father of the Donglu Church in Hebei Province ordered a portrait of Mary from the Tushan Wan workshop. At request, Mary should dress up as a magnificent Chinese queen. Uh, here we can see. Ah,、uh, this is the old, less、uh, dignified version of the Madonna and Child in Donglu Church. 
Donley Church is the famous Virgin Mary Pilgrim Center since her successful protection of local Christians to defeat the anti-Christian boxers in the late 19th century. So finally, in 1909, the newly painted this newly painted Donley Madonna, a very uh. A well-satisfied adaptation of this 1904 sketch was transported to the church, to the Donglu Church, and replaced this old version. So even if the right one, the Donglu Madonna, is obviously based on the left, the 1904 model, to uh. Uh, try to portray Madonna as a contemporary Chinese queen. Still, by comparison, we have several. Uh, we can see they have several meaningful differences, and the Donglu Madonna looks relatively westernized. Let's take notice of the background and foreground of these two paintings. Firstly, in the background, the the decorations of the pillars. Uh, and uh, patterns of the backdrops of the backdrop screens are different. Well, the left pillars are decorated with uh, spiral dragons in traditional rolling cloud design, while uh, the right pillar are always uh, well, the right pillar are much more plain. Uh, Yeah, well, the the right pillar are much more plain in the typical Baroque style. Also, the backdrop uh, of the left image is painted as the traditional uh, consecutive four square pattern with the Chinese character longevity. Here, well, the Right one is changed in the seemingly westernized、uh, cross flower pattern. Then on the foreground carpet,、uh, in the left image, we notice a dragon. But the carpet in the right, in the right, is in a red flowers and plants usually associated to sacrifice in a、uh, Western Christian burial culture. Then in the next Republic period,、uh, here is a line to change.、Uh, then it goes to the、uh, Republic time period, when the new government took seriously to participate in the nineteen fifteen、uh, World Exhibition in San Francisco.、Uh, the oil Painting sketch of the Stonely Madonna was chosen to the World Fair as one of the educational achievements of the modernized Yang government. Also, the famous groups of Chinese pagodas, also made by、uh, Tu Shanwan artists,、uh, exhibited in the World Fair too. These、uh, exhibits from the New Chinese Republic received good comments in this World Fair. Domestically, during the First National Christian Council in 1924, all the bishops of China agreed to、uh, consecrate the Chinese people to the Blessed Virgin Mary and designate this、uh, combined Western and Chinese style icon, the contemporary icon Donglu Madonna, as Our Lady of China. Then thousands of holy cars of Our Lady of China went at once,、uh, were at once printed and sold. However, if we compare this nineteen twenty four consecrated icon of Our Lady. Of China, this holy card with the 1908 Donglu Madonna, we'll see the pillars, um, the backdrop patterns, the carpets, and other details were changed. This version, in this version, these details, uh, again 
were changed back to this this 1904 sketch again. So here, I think we should consider the bishop's choice as a part of the uh, indignization uh, strategy of the Christian missions, missions in the rising nationalism during this anti-Christian movement. So in such a nationalism and anti-Christian contest, possibly as a compromise, Several Chinese style Madonna were produced during the uh, 1920s and 1930s. Chinese Madonnas are again painted in white robes. And we can also see uh, these mixed features in this Tu Shaovan produced Our Lady of China. Not only was the dragon and longevity symbols, but also combined westernized or uh, the so-called decisized modification. Finally, to summarize in this lecture, by reviewing the uh, major images of the Chinese Madonnas throughout the long history of Christian art in China, particular attention was devoted to approaches within varying social political contexts, uh, materials, functions, audiences, and uh, circulation by means to explore multicultural participation within the creation uh, uh, within the creation of uh, transcultural icons of the Chinese Madonna, which I uh, called them as a kind of Madonna in between. Admittedly, we should try our best to learn from and understand each other. Still, misreading and misunderstanding is inevitable, which is always what happens in cultural communication in reality, and also maybe helpful to create new cultural phenomena. After all, whenever something lost, something new or newly hybrid appeared, just as the icon Madonna in between. Um, that's all for today. Thanks for your attention.